Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 54. And today's episode, I'm going to show you guys some more PowerShell. And this PowerShell that I'm going to show you is pretty cool. It actually goes into your Active Directory and um, actually scans your Active Directory for expired computers. This is pretty cool if you want to start cleaning up your Active Directory and you want to filter some filter stuff out and find out which machines haven't been logged into your network and which machines have been disabled and start clearing that stuff out in Active Directory. Uh, you gotta, guys, you got to make sure you have your Quest Active Role Management Shell plugin activated. And once you have that installed, uh, if you guys don't know how to install it, go check my previous uh, PowerShell episode and I show you guys how to do it. And I'm going to run my Windows PowerShell ISE and I gotta set the location to C and then add I gotta add the Quest plugins so stuff can start working correctly okay so the first thing I'm the way I learned how to do the expired or finding how to expire computers in Active Directory is creating a function. Um, there's different ways to do this, but in my way, the way I learned was to create a function and call out the function. So I'm going to call a function, and I'm going to call it inactive underscore computers. Open the parentheses, and uh, I'm going to use a Quest software um, commandlet and it's Q A D P S S snap in setting I make sure I'm doing it right and the parameter of default size limit to zero okay I want to create a variable of old and assign that with the get date command lit dot add days minus 50 okay now the minus 50 you can change it to whatever you want a lot of people like to do find computers that are older than 180 days I'm trying to find any machines that are older than 50 days um, then I'm going to do one more quest software uh, command lit and that's going to be get QA QAD computer dash with the uh, spell computer right dash with the parameter of included properties password last set so it's gonna basically look for the password if the password hasn't been set for a certain amount of days uh, so that means it's expired and hasn't been used uh, another parameter of size limit equals zero pipe it where open brackets dollar sign underscore period pass last set or one word dash uh, parameter of le space and then you're gonna call the dollar old um, variable that you did the get date. So what's happening right now is you're getting the QA computer, you're setting the included properties, it's going to the properties, checking if the password last set hasn't been changed, if it hasn't been changed, that's good, and then it goes into this where loop that checks uh, this variable which is assigned to get date. Okay. And the last thing that you want to do is you want to close the function and then now it's time to check the function so I'm gonna call inactive underscore computers I'm gonna pipe it with another parameter which is sort object and uh, dash property and I want only the name of the computer. So if I hit run, uh, missing something, I'm missing something. Okay, I got the close. 
close that. And active computer is going to pipe it to sort object property. The name that's correct LE old. Included. QAD PSS snap in settings dash default size limit. Let me see if I run this again. Same problem. Inactive. Okay, uh, spell function wrong. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna clear that out, run it one more time. It should go through, and there you go. These machines are inactive, they haven't been logged in. If I go into my domain controller, go to my disable, uh, BJ test, BJ v VM view, there you go. That's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Uh, please subscribe as well as leave a comment. Tell me what you think, and i catch you guys later. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.